why trading with the trend can really help improve your trading results. Let's talk about that and more right now. Hey traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here at the Forex Trading Coach with video and podcast number 352. Now, you've probably heard people say, trade with the trend or the trend is your friend. Stay, about, stay away from range band markets. All those kind of things. The problem is, is how do you actually do that? How do you know that the market's trending? And do you only know it's trending when it's too late and it's already done that trend? And time you jump in, the market's then going flat again. You know, so there's a lot of problems there about uh, practically trading something that in theory sounds really, really simple and common sense to do. So I'll explain what we do uh, regarding that to help us uh, profit from the market. So we teach our clients um, how to look at the bigger picture of how to look at the weekly charts. Now, each week on the membership site, and we've done this for years, we publish the currency pairs, the forex pairs that are likely to be bullish through that week and the currency pairs that are likely to be bearish or heading down for that week. Now, it does a number of really good and important things on a practical basis. One, it allows us and our clients to see where the likely bigger picture is for that pair for that week. And so when you're trading on shorter time frame charts or daily charts or uh, sort of smaller again, 12 hour charts or even four hour charts, one hour charts, it helps you to look for currency uh, trade setups on that pair that are likely to be in the direction of that bigger picture, that weekly direction. And what that does is it gives you the ability to trade a pair that's likely to move and in the same direction. So it stands to reason that you add more and more probabilities together with your trade, and of course you still want the good setup first of all, you're putting all those things together and you're giving yourself more and more chance and probability of that being a good trade. The second thing that it does is it eliminates a whole group of currency pairs for that week. Because if we're looking at pairs that are likely to show uh, indecision or not moving very much, um, or the two strong currencies or two weak currencies, therefore we don't know which way it's likely to be moving for that week. What it does is it allows you to, um, to focus less on those currencies or not at all for that particular week. So it actually like really focuses your trading to a select group of currencies for that week and it helps you to stay away from those trades or those currencies that are likely to be range bound or not move much in any particular direction. So it has a double, like a twofold benefit to your trading. One, focus on which currencies are likely to be moving and in their direction. Number two, these currencies are not likely to be moving much so let's stay away from them or let's not take a trade on them unless we see an exceptionally good setup. So double benefits for you there. And it helps you to focus, it helps you to uh, really narrow down, fine tune your trading, because don't forget that trading after all is about probability. Nothing is absolute. Just because we say the uh, Euro US dollar, for example, is gonna be bullish this week, nothing to say that's gonna happen. It's to say that this is what we're seeing and why, and if we then see bullish setups on other time frames, shorter time frame charts on that pair for that week, the likelihood is, probability suggests that they are going to be stronger setups because they are trading with that main direction. And so what that does, uh, it allows us to have lower risk, higher reward to risk, higher probability trades. Now we have a great technique also for looking for continuation patterns. We also look at reversal patterns, although reversal patterns tend to be a little bit more um, slightly higher risk, look really cool and very dramatic on your charts, but continuation patterns if you can get a continuation pattern on a shorter time frame chart that's in the direction of maybe say the weekly and the daily, and you're trading, let's say a four hour chart, absolutely magic, that's exactly what you're looking for. So I hope that helps. Um, I will put a link uh, below this video on this page uh, to the Five Star Forex Coaching course that we offer. Um, it, as I said, it, not only do we publish that information, but more importantly, we teach you how to do this for yourself. So uh, hope that helps. Once again, this is Andrew Mitchum here at the Forex Trading Coach. I see you this time next week for more trading tips and information. I see you then. Bye.